just don't think I'd ever buy a different type of audio system ever again. The new DJI Wireless Mic 2 is the perfect audio device for content creators, vloggers, podcasters, videographers, and well, anybody that just wants better sounding audio in their projects. But it's not just about the audio, it's also about the usability. And this little device has it all, including AI features which I'm really excited to try and some really helpful upgrades from the previous model. Sounds too good to be true, right? I know. But let's give it a little testy and find out what it's like together because you're probably wondering, what's so good about it? Why should I choose this over other brands? Is it worth the money? What does it sound like? How will this improve my videos and my workflow? So I'm going to cover all of this as well as show you something that they fixed from the last version that I'm really happy about. So sit back, relax and what, what else? What else do I want to do? Now this video is sponsored by DJI, but before you click away, everything that I talk about in this video is 100% my honest feedback and opinions, otherwise I wouldn't make the video. I only ever make videos about products that I would actually use or buy myself. Now I wanna show you this first because it's exactly what people are asking for. Well, I was. So not only does it connect to cameras, it connects to mobile phones, the Osmo Pocket 3, and the DJI Action 4 via Bluetooth. So now anybody can get great sounding audio even if you don't have the top of the line professional camera. And if you use a combination of these types of cameras to do your filming, you don't have to buy separate microphones for each one. So this is what you get in the box. You get this case, which is a welcome update from the original one. You just got this flappy bag to put the case in. So it's got a place for everything. You can put the charging case in there. You can put the separate microphones in there if you want to, if you wanted to leave the case at home and a space for your cables and it's gonna keep it nice and tidy. And then obviously you can just pop that into your camera bag. Then we've got the case itself. The design is fantastic. The case charges the transmitters and receivers so you can get up to 18 hours worth of battery life. But honestly if we're comparing the two cases I actually like the older one. I like the colour of it more, I like the texture of it and the feel and it's a little bit smaller whereas the new one's quite a bit bigger. However it does have this safety latch on it so you don't open it by accident. Obviously extremely well made like all DJI products. You've also got the USB-C and lightning connector in there in that box as well which I think is extremely useful you just don't have to buy the adapters from Amazon and I love that they include them bonus they've also upgraded the receiver by adding this little scroll wheel and button to it and I think that's a great move because it makes it so much easier and quicker to navigate through the menus I mean it's easy anyway but with that wheel you can just change whatever setting you want super fast there's a few extra features in there that I'll talk about shortly moving on to the microphones themselves you obviously get two in the box which I think is great. What I love about having two microphones in the set as well is if I've got someone with me and we're having a bit of a conversation on camera, we can both speak and it's gonna pick us up clearly wherever we are as well. So if Danny Boy's over there and he speaks now, say something Danny Boy. Hey guys, how you doing? You should be able to hear him just as clearly as me. So it doesn't matter where we are. Plus, if I spin the camera around and I ask him some questions and he talks, you're still gonna be able to hear both of us speaking nice and clearly. What are you doing at the minute? Changing propellers on a drone. When I say you can hear him clearly, he usually hasn't got screws and nuts and bolts in his mouth, so <laughs> he's not speaking uh, very clearly at the moment. We, you know what I mean. They've gone for this see-through design. It's pretty cool, you can see the chip inside. When I was 14, I would have absolutely loved that. But, I don't know, I think the older design looks a little bit more professional, in my opinion. I like that, it's a little bit more discreet. If you want it to be hidden, you get less reflections off the older version. I mean, I don't know what difference this makes to the sound. The capsule looks like it's slightly bigger on the new version in comparison, so it might do a better job of picking up audio. Following on from the old version, they've got the magnets. So if you don't want to use the clip, you can actually put it through like I've done now and use the magnets because there's nowhere to clip it on a jump like this. What do you think when people hold the wireless microphones like this? Because I did it once in a video and I got absolutely ripped in the comments. <laughs> wasn't a nice day. Now it seems daft, but one of the things I was most excited about was the cable. The original version, it was just a straight cable. So when you tried to plug it into the camera, you had to really stretch it. And bending cables like this isn't good for the cable. It's not gonna last very long. But now they've got these 90 degree angle cables. So it's much better, much safer, and your cable is gonna last longer and it's easier to plug in. They've also bought out this white version, which I think looks fantastic. See, I like that design, comes with its own Afro as well. 
as well as this lavalier mic. Now what I like about this is it's got this little twisty design. What do you call that? Traditional lav mics just have a clip there and you can't move the direction. You have to clip it on and you're kind of stuck with where it's pointing. Whereas this, it's got a little, what do you call that? It's like a ratchet. It's got a little ratchet on it and you can actually move where you want the microphone to be placed after you've clipped it onto your clothes. I think that's a great idea. The only thing is, I like it. I love a logo like that. I love the branding. But, you know, maybe they could have just not painted it white because, again, that's going to show up. Other than that, this is cool. When a product comes out and they preach about the latest software or latest technology that you've got in it, you've probably heard of this 32-bit float thing that everybody's talking about. What, like, does it, do we actually need it? We've been told it's the best thing since sliced bread. And Lurpak, oh, I love a bit of Lurpak. Why do we need it? How is it useful? Well, if you've ever filmed a wedding speech or even been to a wedding and seen a speech, you've probably encountered something like this. Now, I've known my Johnny boy a long while, haven't we, Johnny boy? Yeah, yeah, remember that time we... Ha! Yeah, yeah, anyway, cheers. And when some absolute jeb like that gets too loud, it makes the audio clip and become distorted. And it's unsavable. Wedding ruined. But you'll notice that although I was shouting into the microphone, ha! it still sounds great. That's because when you record internally using 32-bit float mode, it's capturing more information so you can bring the volume down to a more conservative level. No more distorted wedding speeches. If only there was a setting on here to make wedding speeches disappear entirely, that'd be great. If you can work on that one, DJI. And it's the same thing with quiet sounds too. Sorry, just to... Can't hear you. Use the microphone. Oh, sorry. Can, can you hear me now? You can raise the volume without introducing hiss, even when the audio source is too quiet. I hope you've had a wonderful day and you enjoyed the cake. Yeah, yeah. See, you did a little bit too much. It's basically like magic, but without the magic. It's technology. You can record to the device and capture up to 14 hours of audio. So even if your connection cuts out, you've still got the backup recording on the device itself. And you can easily add the files to the project because you don't have to use any software like some of the other brands. So it's also got AI noise cancellation mode. So for example, I'm outside at the moment and I'm on the one wheel. So you probably hear a little bit of wind noise, but there's a car coming now and you'll hear that it's fairly loud. So the microphone will pick that up and it's a little bit distracting for a viewer. It's got noise cancellation built in. Usually you'd have to buy a plugin and do it afterwards when you're editing the video. But this takes that step away because it's got it built in. All you have to do is swipe up and then press noise cancellation mode and you'll probably hear already that it's a lot clearer. There's no cars going past at the moment, typically. So these cars that are coming past now, you should still be able to hear me nice and clearly because the noise cancellation is gonna cancel those cars out and make sure that I'm nice and clear. I've probably said the word clear way too many times, but you get the idea. So that means you can vlog, take your camera anywhere, even if you're in a noisy environment. I'm just gonna do a little bit of a wind test. This is with noise cancellation on. And this is with noise cancellation off. It's also great for using in echoey rooms. In my living room, as you can see, I've got wood floors and it's just so echoey and it sounds horrible. However, if I switch on the noise cancellation mode, you'll be able to hear that my voice is a lot clearer, it gets rid of those echoes. Because of the way these things work, it does affect the sound of my voice slightly. You'll hear that it's just a tiny bit muffled, but at least those echoes have gone. What you could do is just give it a little bit of an EQ and then it's sorted. Another thing you can do with these microphones is get really dynamic looking shots because I've got the camera set up all the way over there on a 70 to 200 mil lens and you won't be able to do this with an on-camera microphone. It's ideal and, it's, and I don't have to carry like a massive audio kit with me or anything like that. Literally this tiny little microphone. It's mint. What, what an age we live in, eh? <laughs> with the range being so good, what is the range on it? It's got a transmission range of 250 meters or 800 feet. What's it like if I spin round? Can you still hear me now? Because I know on some microphones it cuts out if you spin round. Not that I would go any further than this. Who likes to leave the camera this far away? The battery life has been upgraded from five and a half hours to six hours now. So you get that extra half an hour on each one. What I found really useful is the simultaneous power on and off function. It reacts with your camera. As soon as you switch the camera on, the device switches on. So that's gonna save your battery loads. Also, it means I don't forget to 
power on the device. So love that feature. If you're a bit of a beginner and you're not quite sure how to set your audio levels, what you can do is just scroll through the menu and choose which camera you're using and it's gonna set the gain levels for you so you don't have to worry about that anymore, it's done. This is this this entire system, professional system, is all contained within this little box here. It's the way forward. Audio has reached a point where it's enjoyable now. It's not a pain in the body. DJI have done it again. They've exceeded expectations. They've come out with extra technology and things to make our life easier. It, it makes me happy. As good as these microphones are, with any microphone, you will have to use an audio preset just to bring it to that professional quality that you want. I've used my own audio presets, which you can download from the link below. It's just gonna take it from sounding like this to sounding like this. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Which one would you get? The white one or the clear one? And do you prefer the original design? Let me know. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.